Okay. So, one of the fans on Closest Copy, Rezwan, I believe. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing your, na your name wrongly. I mean, he's asked if uh, I can create um, a framework for the sense hence I used here, which says Closest Copy is a tool that makes it e as easy as butter to write masterpieces. Um, from what Rezwan is saying, you wrote Closest Copy is a tool that makes it as easy as butter to write masterpieces. You could have written Closest Copy is a tool that makes it easy to write sales letter. Easy to easy as butter sales to masterpieces. I struggle a lot to write metaphors and anecdotal sentences. I'm looking for a framework to help me take a simple sentence and make it sound more descriptive. Right. And this is a very um, important um, copywriting skill where you can write, take something that's quite simple, but bring it to life and make it jump out of the, of the page with the words you're using. So rather than just going ahead and creating um, a framework, although there are some frameworks already there that can do this to some degree. Um, there are some frameworks in the shortly frameworks. Let me just see if I can find it quickly for those who may want to look for it. So my shortly frameworks. I've tr tried to kind of rearrange this so that in the shortly frameworks, um, you use the shortly frameworks for writing blog posts. So if you, you wanted to write a blog post, just come in here and just follow from A all the way down. And by the time you've reached the last letter here, you you one, you should have finished writing your blog post. So I've arranged it in that order so that it just gives you the things you need in that order to fill in your blog post. Okay, so back to the question. So the the one you need in here if i can find it myself power words and sensory word infuser so if you use that you could literally make most sentences more powerful but what i wanted to do today um just to kind of kill one bed two birds with one stone <laughs> that how you say it <laughs> um it's to actually show you how you come across how, how you go ab about creating this framework um in closest copy so really then all you can do is if you find any piece of content or may maybe any author who writes in a specific way and you like the way they are writing but you just can't produce it you could just follow the same process to capture the way the author has written things and then all you just have to do later then is just put a simple phrase in, in in the frameworks and it's a spit out a similar type of writing like that author has written okay so how do we do that so what i'll do here is i'm going to go into closest copies um, facebook group and pick out all the phrases that i tend to use when i'm I'm suggesting things people can do with closest copy on Facebook because what I've done is as I've written them I've written them using copywriting phrases which is really what um, Rezwan is is saying here um, so let's pick this first one here closest copy is mixed writing okay let's copy that out right I'm just going to copy that out now so this is the snazzy <laughs> let's just say snazzy way of saying it snazzy way of saying it so how to spell snazzy double z okay and then simple statement So really what I'm doing here is I'm creating variables that I can put these phrases in 
for closest copy to recognize okay this is the pattern i'm chasing so the simply say statement is here so what we're really saying here is closest copy is useful for writing sales letters let's just pick just the sales letters from this sales pages uh, sales pages sales pages now you could as go as well just go and use the frameworks i have created already um but you have more power in being able to create these frameworks yourself because there's a type of um f i mean for me when i when i when i've kind of trained myself on how to write or read and write there's some types of authors that attract me and so a lot of my writing is an amalgamation of these authors so so you too you would have people who the way they write attracts you and so you can actually use closest copy to help you write more like those authors uh, especially if, if those authors um if the work that the authors create tends to pull a lot of crowd okay so We've created a, sim a simple statement and a snazzy way of saying it. Now, what we're trying to do here is create a pattern for the AI to recognize. Because the, that's what we have to always remember. The AI is a, almost like a pattern rec recognition engine. When it sees a pattern, it, it is forced to kind of replicate the pattern. And sometimes you don't want it to replicate patterns. But sometimes you do right so and when we're creating frameworks what we're trying to do is create patterns for the for the ai to then be able to easily replicate so in this case the pattern we've created a simple statement and snazzy way of saying it that's the bit we're going to be repeating every time and get getting the ai to know what the pattern is so i just copied this now i'm going to pull out pulling some other things i have said in the just to make it easy for myself. Um, Adewale. Oops. So in that in the group, it's gonna pull out all the different things I have said. Say bye bye to to the days of poor email open rates forever. Okay, so that'll be the snazzy way of saying it. And the simple statement is improve your email open rates. Okay. And with closest copy, you all just really need these three three examples but if you have more than three examples that's great so let's see what else we can find ah even here that statement there double triple don't know if i can copy it out of there can i i can copy it from youtube double triple I think that's actually much more of a snazzy way than this one. Say bye bye to email. So I'll put that there instead. Double, oops, double, triple, make it a paragraph. Okay. Let's find one more. How to create create super effective frameworks in less than eight minutes? Mm. Yep, that's not snazzy enough. Yeah, this is yeah, this is snazzy. So create tantalizing Facebook invitations and call to actions. 
Ah, I prefer the that one. So create eye-worth ring click worthy links to your Facebook articles in five minutes. In under five minutes. Okay. So that's the oops. Like that a paragraph. And what we will copy that again. So what it's really saying is create attractive links face links to your face articles that's a simple way so really just to kind of summarize what we've done what we've done here is um assuming that the author we're trying to copy is myself <laughs> no pun intended there um you find any author you would want to copy find three at least three phrases of how they said something in a very nice way like you'd like to be able to say it and then copy that into closest copy using this format you create a variable and put the simple statement in there you create this the variable for the way you want it to be said and put how the author has said it in there and you repeat that three times at least three times and then the fourth one would be the examples you would use in the framework so um, and one of the good things is when, once you get to this point you can actually get closest copy to write the example you use for you so if you just use the Q thing uh, control Q don't know what it is in in an Apple okay so it's done a simple statement and it's done a snazzy way of saying it let's see whether that's good enough turn your website into a sales page <laughs> turn your website into a full-blown sales pitch in 47 yeah that's sort of okay but all we just want is that simple statement as the example <coughs> Excuse me. And because the scope is going to give us the snazzy examples, uh, and that's really what we want. Now, if this does not um, is not successful enough, all you just do is create more ex more um, variables, put more um, of this in here. Maybe go to five or six. Now we we can do up to five thousand characters. So you've got you're not limited really by how many examples. And really, the more examples you can have the more powerful closest copy will be in producing the outcome you're looking for. Okay, so let's put that in the frameworks. All right. I'm going to put this in I'm going to create a path, create a new frame um, a category for this. So we all know with the frameworks, all you need in the example section is, a f is a, the inputs and that example input. And to make such the framework recognize, the AI recognize what the input is, we put inputs here. I think this is like a coding that uh, Nico has worked into the frameworks. So uh, that recognizes that this is what would be there for the example um, which is quite helpful because even for me, sometimes I forget what the framework is for. But when I see the example there, it makes me just remember, okay, that's what I was trying to do here. Okay, so what do we name this? Um, should I name this? What should we name this? I'm going to name this after his name Reswan <laughs> I'm gonna read Re Reswan's framework <laughs> I hope you don't mind me doing that Reswan <laughs> snazzy state 
segment frameworks um so let's just put this in polishing words category description takes a phrase and makes it jump out of the page <laughs> and save and there you got it the snazzy statement framework let's see whether it's any useful uh -huh. make your website as hard nosed called to action field and say page pitch like as possible okay that's perhaps it'll be too much but again you can take that and and and, and water it down a little bit but it's giving you a lot of things to use there uh, make your site a sales pitch that pulls in forever readers who crave your next big idea wow if you're trying to attract somebody who's wanting to know how to make their site more attractive to their readers that sales pitch sorry that title would easily pull them in so that's how you create the framework and i hope i've just gone through it step by step enough for people to see the process if you have any questions please feel free to just post it in the youtube um, um comments actually if you post questions in the youtube comments that will help the algorithm the youtube youtube algorithm to make the videos that i i, I make uh, more popular and, and show up more for people and now you'll be helping me out with that as well okay right so it, i hope this has been helpful and any questions um, you can also pm me in in facebook all right take care